Member for Skeena. I am very excited to share some great news after exceptional collaboration and determination from my community of Kitimat. For years, residents, residents of Kitimat and Kitimat Village have had to drive 140 kilometers round trip to Mills Memorial Hospital in Terrace through harsh winter conditions for a CT scanner appointment. You see, until now, Kitimat General Hospital has not had a CT scanner, but the community over the years have decided it was time to change that. Through the Kitimat Hospital Foundation, Kitimat embarked on a remarkable journey to raise the necessary funds. The, T so the CT scanner has been a priority, and it has been a monumental effort considering the $2.3 million purchase price alone. Then something truly extraordinary happened. And of course, this is the wrong page. <laughs> Give me some time. I'm out. The, the, <laughs> the Kitimat General Hospital Foundation held a gala, their annual gala, and LNG Canada shocked the room with coming up with the remaining $900,000 needed for the CT scanner. The room was in disbelief and excited. Uh, Kitimat is excited, but this doesn't necessarily mean that Kitimat gets a CT scanner just yet but it's a huge step. The next hurdle is getting approval from the Ministry of Health for installation, implementation, and operation. Where is the area? It's right there. <laughs> for now, Kitima is feeling a level of relief that their hospital will potentially have a CT scanner. The potential addition of a CT scanner also has added benefits. Many doctors prefer to work in hospitals that have CT scanners. And as we all know, recruitment and retention of healthcare workers is a problem in rural areas, including Kitima. We're hoping the proposed CT scanner will persuade more doctors to take up practice and stay in Kitimat. And by the way, I was in the, recently in the hospitals of Kitimat and Terrace for a CT scan. I had to travel that 140 kilometers. And I just want to say thank you to all the healthcare workers who looked after me and my family in the Terrace Hospital and the Kitimat Hospital through a very stressful time. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. Speaker. <laughs>